So we're getting started on our unit on erosional forces. And in New England, glaciers have been the biggest erosional force shaping this landscape that the area has ever seen. So what happens is every 100,000 years or so, we have a period called an ice age where the glaciers build up on the landscape. And when they come through, they carve enormous valleys. They leave huge deposits of what's called glacial till. They also move enormous boulders, which are called glacial erratics. So I'm standing right in front of a glacial erratic in Westminster, Massachusetts. This thing is really huge. It's probably about 40 feet tall. It's just a massive glacial boulder. What happened when the glaciers were here is the glaciers actually pushed this huge stone into place and actually just dropped it here. So these sort of glacial erratics are actually placed all through New England. Anywhere that there are glaciers, there are these huge boulders that get left behind when the glaciers leave. So it's just one of the main features of glaciers. I am going to show you a few more. So I got one more glacial erratic to show you. This is Balance Rock. I'm in Westminster, Massachusetts, right at, uh, on Mount Wachusett. And this rock was dumped here by a glacier just like the last big rock that we saw. Except with this one, it's kind of really coolly perched right on top of this. So when the glacier came by, it dumped this huge boulder and it's been sitting in this weird kind of scary spot for the last probably 20, 25,000 years. Just sitting here. So this isn't gonna fall on me. I'm pretty confident that it's made it the last 20,000 years, it'll be okay. But a pretty cool glacial erratic. And uh, bonus points too, if you can identify the type of rock that this glacial erratic is. So another common feature of glacial landscapes, which means a landscape that was once covered by glaciers, is glacial till. All glacial till is, is that once a glacier comes through, it actually takes all the dirt, the rocks, everything that's on the ground, and it breaks them up, mixes them up, and it takes the ground into this loosely consolidated means it's a big mix of rocks, of dirt, of everything else. And so when the glacier comes by, it actually leaves behind this incredibly rocky soil. So New England, everywhere you go, you might notice rock walls, like the one that I'm sitting on. Rock walls are really common in New England because the early people that tried to farm this, they looked at our dirt and they said, wow, this is incredibly rocky. We need to do something about that. So they took all the rocks out and they piled them up into walls. Um, the reason all those rocks were there is because these glaciers, when they came through, they broke up rocks into so many pieces and mixed them up, mixed them all up with the dirt, and it was left with this incredibly rocky soil. And that rocky soil, again, to be repetitive, is called glacial till. So another thing that glaciers can leave when they come by is these enormous deposits of sand and gravel. So this huge sand dune right here, this was actually just left behind when the glacier moved through. It's a pretty cool deposit, and you can actually, if you pan out to the side, you can see this whole landscape here is actually covered by glacial sand and gravel. Really cool deposit that glaciers can leave. Hey everybody, so Mr. Guerrero showed you a couple different formations <clears throat> uh, or features formed by glaciers. Here I have a rock that's been scraped and polished by the glacier. You can zoom in on there. And so these scrapes we call striations. They're really neat. We'll show this rock to you later in class. There are lots of features that have been formed by glaciers here in New England. Glaciers are huge moving masses of ice. They come along, they tear down the, uh, the surfaces, they create things like drumlins, moraines, um, outwash planes, and we'll be talking all about those in class.